What's up, seashells? It's Shelby, and welcome back to my channel. So today, don't mind how beat up the bag is, but <laughs> we got some here from Kales. And in the bag, we have got two wig caps, two pieces, and then we got another two-piece wig cap, but this time it comes with some little lashes and some hair accessories. And now, we're gonna move on into the type of wig that it is. Guys, I'm so excited about this wig. Are you ready? Three, two. Ah! Oh my God. Guys, I've never, straight up. <laughs> I have never worn a braided wig. So this is the 36 inch full lace front knotless box braided wig. It has baby hairs and it really feels like when you use expressions. You know when you use expressions or canicolon? So this is what the structure is looking like. As I said, it's like a 360 lace situation going on on the inside. This is what it looks like. It's kind of heavy guys, so if my hand dropped down, <laughs> just sit with me. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. It's a 360 lace, so it has a comb here, a comb on the other side. So two combs on the top. It has a comb on the bottom and it has a band in the back. So if you want to wear it glueless, which I will definitely be wearing glueless, then you can. It is adjustable and it's pretty sturdy. Um, of course, the back lace right here, which I'm going to cut off. And then these are what the baby hairs are looking like. I the, oh, My only concern is right here. I don't know if you guys are picking that up. There's a little like line of demarcation. And the way how this is set up, I don't know if I can, I can't bleach the knots, you see? It's not, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know if I can bleach the knots. So I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of foundation on the inside here to see if we can blend a little more on my wig cap or whatever. And let's see how it goes. <gasps> I haven't put any foundation on it or anything. I just want to see how it fits. So, it's pretty snug. <laughs> I will say that. Okay, so if I, when I'm cutting it, I'm going to have to cut like probably just one braid so it can fit perfectly behind my ear. Yeah, that's the only thing right now. But I don't feel like this is centered. Let's pull it a little. <laughs> okay, wait. I know it looks a little bit crazy right now, but. First of all, I'm not a sense of art girl, so let's flip these over real quick. Now that's looking a little more like it. And of course, when I cut it, I can put it behind my ear and stuff. So actually what I'm going to do, we're going to go into my room because I'm not in my room right now, obviously. <laughs> and we're going to cut this lace off and let's see how well everything looks because as i said my only concern right now is like right here where the baby hairs are and just like the front i just want to see if it's going to look natural but so far the braids itself is very very neat like just look at them really really neat but i realized that the bottom like the very very end it's actually twisted and then uh, plat right out which I don't really care. <laughs> I really don't care to be honest. This is just going to be my new go-to wig. So if you see me ball today, breaks tomorrow, ball the next day. Oh no no. Yeah, no. And I do believe it's the 36 inches because it is really long. It is literally past my butt. Literally past my butt. So I do believe that it's 36 inches. I don't have a tape measure to measure it or anything, but so far. I love it. Like, all right, let's go to my room.
not a game, it's a rage thing. finished look this is how it turned out I actually had to do over the whole lace lifted I had to do that over and then I literally ran out of this so I have to buy a new one tomorrow but luckily I had enough to hold it down I literally just did two three layers and the three layers and that's what's holding this in place right now I used got to be glue on the edges this time so that they could Day because I'm going somewhere tonight and I need this hairstyle to be there. You know, I can't afford it lifting, so this is the length. <laughs> so this is how long it is. If I turn to the back, you can see that it's literally past my butt. And yeah, I love a side part. I don't feel like the middle parts with these braids look right on me you know you can have various styles if i want a cute little girl style i could do something like this if not i could put it in a high ponytail i think i did that earlier on in the video this is just so versatile i am absolutely in love like i cannot say that enough this is definitely definitely my new go-to wig the only thing I think I have a little issue right here where my hair is showing through um, but I don't know how I could avoid that because I had to cut a whole plait out so it's not like I could like cut a piece of the plait because that wouldn't look right so by rights I think I should probably <laughs> wear the hair down so it covers it like that but this is the look I'm going for and I don't really care if you're looking that close and you realize that you're not minding your business you need to mind your business okay mind your business so yeah I just want to say a huge thank you to Kales for sending me this cute knotless braided wig y'all really need to go get it everything all the details to the hair will be in the description below everything else you need to know is on their website which is also in the description box below if you like videos like this 